Hi everybody, how are you? So today I'm, ho I'm here to show you how to start using PHP unit in your projects, okay? Um, I'm recording these videos to improve my English skills and my the software, software development skills, so sorry for my English, it's not perfect. And if something goes wrong, we are going to learn together, okay? Because things goes wrong when we are working on a real job. Okay, so let's get started by creating a new project. To create a new project, I'm going to create a new folder. So mkdir php unit. Let's create a php unit project. cd php unit. Okay, now let's use composer init to create our project. Okay, let's uh, use the default value, default value, default uh, default uh, the type is a project uh, license default do you like to define your dependencies? yes, I would like no, not now uh, for required dev, yes because the required dependence are dependence that are needed for our software to run and required dev are the dependence required to development of our project and PHP unit is a dependence for development it's not something we really need when running the application on production okay so now let's search for PHP unit and let's choose the first one uh, enter the required version let's choose the default, the last test, no, no, any new, okay, add ps or for auto mapping, yes, yes, confirm the generation, would you like to start dependence now, no, oh no, okay, I would like, so composer, but let me install it manually, composer install, Okay, now it is going to install PHP unit and all dependencies is already installed. Now let's open the project on a code editor. I'm using PHP unit. You can use the one you prefer. Uh, VS Code, anyone. Okay, so let's open here the PHP unit folder. Nice. Okay, so now here I'm going to create a very simple class a class that represents an email okay so email let's create an email class okay this email class will receive by constructor so construct receive the email that will be in a string and email and here I'm going to have this email we receive email okay oops okay let me create this property and now let's create also after create the object we are going to validate if it is valid so validate let me change to assert assert is valid okay let me create this method okay this method will return a boolean if it is no it is not going to return a boolean it is just going to throw an exception if it is not valid okay so to check if the email is valid i'm going to use an if and filter var first i receive the value this email then I receive the filter value filter email should be validate email okay okay so this will return something return the filter data or false if, the f if it fails okay so if this is exactly false I'm going to throw an exception okay throw new invalid argument exception 
okay invalid email nice okay and then I will do nothing okay and to create this I'm going to create a static factory so static oops function um, from string and here I'm going to receive string email and then I will return new self email this will return self okay let's make the constructor private because now we have a static factory and let's also create a two string method okay two string two string will be oops we'll return this email and okay it is okay okay so now we are going to write test to check if this is working okay so the first thing is to create a new folder called tests and inside this folder I'm going to create a new class called email test okay and now this class should extend from the PHP unit test case uh, class okay nice now I can start writing my tests function test valid email okay we are going to test here to create a, a valid email so email we receive email from string let's put my email and let's assert that this instance is an instance of so expect that it is an instance of email okay and check the object is an instance of email okay nice let's replace this by an import this too okay nice now now we can run our test okay to run our test we need to add dot dash vendor beam php unit and tests okay okay our test run it okay it won a session and it run very well okay now I made a test that checks that that I am a value email returns an instance of email okay and this tests some part of code but doesn't test if uh, the email is invalid so there is a tool in PHP unit that we can use to check if we have tested all our code okay this tool is the code coverage tool, tool. let's uh, now run this same test but with some uh, parameters okay so we are going to add coverage coverage H HTML and I'm going to tell that I wanna to generate in a co coverage coverage folder and let's add a coverage filter that I'm going to tell that I wanna generate uh, the coverage of the files that are inside the folder SRC okay let's run okay um, it run it and it generated the HTML uh, report about the coverage now let's enter on the folder that I have um, here PHP unit now I have the folder coverage okay and here I have a file index I need to drag this file and drop on the browser okay as you can see here I have a list of the files that I have uh, inside the folder SRC in this case I have only the email.php file 
you know, if I enter here I can see um, what which lines of code was rendered by my tests okay so the constructor was being executed by the test file email the front string was rendered the tree string was not rendered and the assert valid uh, executed the if but didn't throw any exception so now we know that we need to add more coverage to this class to cover all the uh, expected case because if I don't add um, a test for this case for the true exception somebody can come here change it and I will don't know that if the person broke the, the part of the code okay so now let's add more coverage here let's add a test inval invalid email okay and a uh, test invalid email I'm going to make a uh, this expects expect exception expect exception um, will be um, invalid argument exception invalid argument exception okay and let's add also that the assert no not assert expects uh, exception message okay that should be invalid email just to be sure that it is exactly the error we are trying to to catch yeah so now let's email from string and invalid email okay nice let's run the, the tests again and we have one failure telling us that error exception of type error match expected uh, mm. okay the message the message does, doesn't match let's remove the the message maybe we can just check it doesn't matter now no there is another thing failing mm. what is happening maybe I forgot something Let's see what is wrong. Uh, okay, give me a minute. I'm going to check and I will return. Okay. Uh, it says I can't pause here. Maybe here. No, I can't pause. So <laughs> let's let's check together. What is happening? Let me read the message again. Faded assert exception of type error match with exception invalid argument message was environment exception okay what is wrong okay I'm using the wrong exception type I want to use the one from PHP that is why probably so here I need to add a dash to get the the one from PHP and now let's get back the assertion message let's let's try it again okay done it runs so now if we come back here to our coverage let's refresh and as you can see now the constructor was being executed by two tests the test valid email and test valid invalid email and here the true exception was executed by the testing valid email okay so now let's test let uh, let's add the coverage for this last method that is the true string and uh, to do it we can we can do test to true string i think you can do we can do this way let's use the same email 
okay and um, let's run a assert assert equals let's test this way let's see if it works let's see okay you work it nice so let's check here the coverage nice now this line was being run this line was run by three tests so we have our file with a hundred percent of coverage so that was by today now you you know how to add coverage to your files and to check how much coverage your file has you can come back here see a list of files check how much coverage each file has so it is very useful uh, please let me know if you have any doubt and thank you so much for uh, for watching bye bye